have some Parkinson's clients whose progress has been astounding. We had one that came in for their intro session. We literally had to help her over the one inch threshold through the door because her shuffling was so bad. And now she takes vacations. She takes hiking excursions. She <clears throat> came back about, she came about 12 weeks into her program after being on a trip and says, for the first time in 10 years, I put my own luggage into the overhead bin on the airplane. Um, it makes for a massive difference. And it does because the act of aggressively recruiting muscle is activating motor units. And neurons that fire together, wire together. And it improves their motor neuron recruitment and firing patterns in a way that helps them whether they're losing motor units due to MS or due to Parkinson's or whatever. And also, one of the major myokines that's released during high-intensity exercises, BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which helps to preserve neurons and their connections with each other. But more importantly, if each individual motor unit is stronger, then their functioning with what they are able to fire, fire is going to be improved. So it improves from both ends. You're improving the motor unit recruitment and firing efficiency, and then what they're able to fire is stronger. So their improvement um, is, is fairly marked.